This whole matter of dueling will lead you to believe that you fight in defense of your honor. On the contrary, the truth is that these duels are in no way an honorable act. Very good, sir. Shall we survey my new plantation? around like dogs. Parliament refuses to hear our protest and continues to raise our taxes. These are very serious accusations, Benjamin. These are very dangerous men you're accusing. It's an invitation from Joseph Langley to attend his housewarming party. He must not have read today's edition. I'd rather stick a hot iron in my mouth than welcome that serial murderer into this colony. Ben Benjamin is right. Langley is a bloodthirsty killer. He goes from colony to colony, laying waste to families all in the name of honor. There's nothing honorable about Joseph Langley. <coughs> Surely there is a way to censor such tripe talk. I don't suppose you know of Mr. Cook, our most bothersome journalist, do you? Listen to this. Not only is Colonel Edward Baker a gambler and a poor one, he is also a harborer of strange women. He is accompanied by a disreputable collection of hangers on. The least of his companions is one Joseph Langley, a self-proclaimed duelist. Langley has managed to buy the king's army and is therefore above the law. His notion of honor is no more than a disguise for his blood thirst. He has made me out to be a fool and you a common cutthroat. Joseph Langley doesn't become so easily offended. I, I did not mean to imply Men that. like this would have the general public believing that I would lay down the gauntlet with anyone who dare utter a crossword against me. are still there. They won't have a place to go. They should have considered that when they turned down my original proposal to buy the property outright. They had their opportunity. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. You know, this whole party is a celebration of Mr. Cooper's murder. Oh, Benjamin, stop exaggerating. Besides, it's been so long since we've been to a party. I'm not exaggerating. Joseph Langley's been in 27 duels, 28 if you count Mr. Cooper's. Bravo! This is a magnificent estate, Mr. Langley. I've been asking myself all afternoon what it cost an honorable man such as yourself to obtain it. I understand your curiosity. And I shared the same envy at one point in time. I can see how an honest, hard-working newspaper man such as yourself would envy such a meager estate. Mr. Cook, it's a privilege to finally meet you. And who is this exotic flower? Yeah. I remain curious, sir, how you happened upon such a meager estate. 
Surely Mr. Cooper simply wouldn't hand over something that was so valuable to him and his family. Mr. Cook, if you're digging for more fodder for your journal, I suggest that you look elsewhere. This is the party. Enjoy yourself, won't you? You may have everyone else fooled, sir, but I know what you did, you filth. You offend me, sir. I demand satisfaction. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I'm only challenging your husband to a shooting match. A mere game. We're leaving, Philip. Oh, come, Mr. Cook. Have you no honor? You know not what honor is. That's more like it, Mr. Cook. Those the Cooper's things? Not anymore. You missed! <laughs> I really should be getting back to my guests. I feel the need to make a toast. Good people of Charlestown, I would like to welcome you into my home as you have welcomed me into your fair city. Unfortunately, you may have heard unsavory rumors about me, thanks to Mr. Cook's little journal. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to inform you all that these accusations are false. I have indeed had my altercations in the past, but I assure you, any actions taken thusly were in complete defense of my honor. What is this honor you speak of, sir? Surely there's no honor in murdering Mr. Cooper this morning for this estate. You have offended me for the very last time, Mr. Cook. And I demand satisfaction. My husband does not quibble with murderers. Do you allow your wife to do all your talking for you, Mr. Cook? She's right. I want to take up arms with the... Man is such a coward such as yourself. There is no honor in that. But I demand satisfaction. I refuse to give it. Mr. Cook is a coward. He's not man enough to defend his own honor. Who amongst my guests will satisfy Mr. Cook's debts? I will. Philip, no, it's a trap. Do not worry, Benjamin. Tomorrow, dawn. My property. Pistols. Do not worry, Benjamin. I shall kill this ruffian. Philip, I am begging you. This is my dispute. It is my honor to fight for you, Benjamin Cook. Please don't do this. It'll all be over soon enough.
What is honor? Some think of it as respect or glory. Some as loyalty or character. Why do we find it necessary to fight for honor? Is honor worth protecting? I mean to say as a whole, not merely personal honor. Should one fight to protect its integrity? Have these duels destroyed its meaning? because of my inequities. I will not have his blood on my hands. It's not that easy, Mr. Cook. You don't simply get to walk away. I demand blood. This blood you want, this blood you shall have. I dare say that you do not acquire honor by personal achievement or by reputation. It is something bestowed upon you. It is standing for what is right no matter what the consequence. Stand before you today in single armed combat under one condition. Before God, or members of the King's army, you swear to never confront a member of my family or a citizen of Charlestown so long as you walk this earth. Agreed. Arm your weapons. Present. And. I cannot help but wonder, is the honor of a man worth the life of another? I want blood! Benjamin! No! Benjamin! Keep the gun. No! If you're reading this now, there's a chance that I am dead. Do not be dismayed, but rather know that I fought for something worth fighting for. I have learned that I must put faith in what I know to be right and stand by it courageously, even in fear of death. But pray to be delivered that I might go on another day. The morning of the duel, I substituted Phillips round with the musket ball rolled from the soil. After that, it was no challenge to dupe Mr. Langley into trading weapons. Breaking the so-called code of a honorable duel is to me like breaking the rules of an honorable murder. I want blood! I push forward striving to do the right thing, no matter how courageous or mundane. Not for honor, but because it is right. And there is honor in that. 